So guys, what's up? This is Mark Joseph Alcabahog and today we are going to discuss the photography. Together with my groupmates, Zu Andrea Bernales, Ares Canamo, and Ray Deval. Our learning outcomes. After our discussion, we are expected to recognize the history and importance of photography, appreciate the rule of thirds in photography, exhibit understanding of the essential components and features of a camera, display an ability to do photography. Since Ma'am Hazel already discussed about the history of photography, I will just discuss so, a short background and detail about photography. So, photography has become essential to historical documentation. It provides a glimpse into section of society that were not explored or examined. The basic, con the basic concept of photography has been around since about the 5th century before Christ's era. It wasn't until an Iraqi scientist developed something called the camera obscura in the 11th century that the art was born. Even then, the camera did not actually record images. It simply project them onto another surface. Before we go into the technical aspect of photography, we need to be aware of the following people. First is Joseph Nisipor Nips. His invention was the first permanent photograph view from the window at Ligras when it is at 1826 in France. His favorite quotes or, or the famous quote by Joseph is the discovery I've made which I call heliography consists in replicating the images acquired in the camera obscura spontaneously by the action of light with the gradation of colors from black to white. Next is Luis de Giri. His invention was the daguerreotype, first commercial photograph material. Where at France 1839. His favorite quote I have seized the light, I have arrested its flight. Next is Alfred Stiglitz, his generous portraiture and documentary, where at the United States, the late 1800s to mid 1900s. Its impact Alfred Stiglitz was a photographer, but he was also one of the first prominent members of the art world. To recognize photography as a viable artistic medium, he believed that pictures like paintings or music could convey an artist's vision. In other words, that photographers might be artists, Stiglitz is mainly responsible for today's concept of photography as an art form. His favorite quote is, There is a truth in photography that is subtle, that is seem more real than reality. Wow. Next is Dorothy Lange. Her genre report is genre his her genre is portrait photography where the United States 1930s. Her favorite quote is the camera is a device that teaches individuals how to see without using one. Lastly is Ad Ansel Adams. His genre is photographing landscapes. Where at the United States of America. His favorite quote is nothing worse than a sharp image of a fuzzy concept. Next is the rule of thirds composition in photography. The rule of thirds is a composition guideline that places your subject in the left or right third of an image, leaving the other two thirds more open. While there are other forms of composition, the rule of thirds generally leads to compelling and well-composed shots. So here is some example. These images shows the perfect catch of shots. This rule of thirds help us directly view the gaze to the main focal point of an image. Whatever the subject may be, it makes the most of empty space by drawing your eye to a specific part of the image. So, mas okay ang judang kuha pag natay specific part ng ginakuha. 
bakla nog ang ano dinakuaan mana siya so the types of photography will be discussed by Zoo Vernalis I got the Hi, my name is Zoe and I will now discuss the types of photography. Um, there are 13 types of photography, so let's, guess, let's discuss each one of them and know their meanings. The first one is aerial photography. It refers to the taking of photographs of the ground from an elevated position. This type of art uses a specialized camera mounted, such as fixed wing aircraft, helicopters, drones, balloons, kites, parachutes, and etc. Astrophotography, so it entirely focuses on capturing images from space, and this type of photography could vary from the planets to the stars or any other exciting configurations. The third one is commercial photography. So, this photography is a work done for marketing like menus in cafes, restaurants, brochures and leaflets, magazine advertising, merchandising, and product placements. So, examples of commercial photography are Advertising photography, architecture and interior photography, automotive photography, food photography, jewelry photographs, journalism photography, product photography, and sports photography. Fine art photography. Um, this type of photography captures images with an abstract influence. So, it can be equated to an artist's expression on a painting. Forensic photography is also known as crime scene photography, wherein the photographer's work is to capture images for a correct representation of the crime scene. So, headshot photography, also known a, um, as a mugshot um, that's the other name for this snapshot. And this is primarily concerned with the person's face. Macro photography. Close-up photos of a specific theme are referred to as this. So it's mostly used so to photograph aspects of creatures of nature that aren't visible to the human eye. The eighth um, type of photography is nature photography. Um, it contains all forms of photography where the main subject has somewhat to do with the nature. It also emphasizes landscapes, wildlife, underwater, and plants' lives in their natural environment. Nude photography is all about portraying the human body in the naked form. The tenth type of photography is portrait photography. Um, this is all about capturing a person's mood, emphasizing the face and expression of a person. Still life photography is all about capturing objects on camera, camera that are deliberately grouped to create a particular composition. This type of photography demands an excellent lighting technique. Street photography. Um, the, um, this, photogra this photography takes candid images of open places or people and their normal element. So it is it is also needs the photographer to mingle with people. I mean with other people and achieve the best frames. The last one is travel photography. So this includes capturing images of a particular landscape, traditions, customs, or even people from different places. I will also discuss the basic components and features um, of a camera. I mean of the camera. So 
Cameras are helpful gadgets that are used solely to capture still images, whether for entertainment or security. So, every camera contains some fundamental components necessary for its operation from Dutchies 2011. Some important components and features of a camera as I mean of a camera are as follows. So as you can see um, um, in the photo, you can see the different um, components and features of the camera. So let's discuss one of them. The aperture is a light traveling opening and a camera that may be changed to control the quantity of light that reaches the image sensor. Data display. It is used to display the menu for adjusting the different camera operations. Electronic sensor. It transmits and detects information used to make an image. Lens. The camera's eye is used in conjunction with a camera body and mechanism to capture images of the objects. Um, the fifth one is shutter release button. The button is found on a camera used to take photos. Viewfinder. It is used to view the captured image of the subject. So, other components of a camera Number one, camera body. It is the housing for the camera. Built in flush, it is used to capture a shot of weekly light views. It may also automatically shoot some modes. Focus point selection button. During AF shooting, it selects the position to set the focus, um, the AF point. Hot shoe is the top of the camera and is used to attach a flash unit. The fifth one, lens mount. It is the section for, I mean, it is the section connecting the exchangeable lens to the camera body. Release button. It's a button that's used to detach the lens. Um, the seventh one is live view shooting or movie shooting switch. It's used to turn on or off the live feature. I mean live view feature. The last one is self time. It's used to extend the period between pushing the shutter button and the camera is taking the picture. So that's all for um, my reporting. So the next um, person who will discuss furtherly will be Mr. Aris Kanamo. Hello everyone, I'm the last reporter of Group 8. Our report is all about three popular international photos and their brief background. Henry Carter Breston famous photo man jumping the puddle 1930. In this one of his most iconic photos, Henry Carter Breston captured a saint's true, a fence behind the scenes, Lazarus train station in Paris. This image became the perfect example. What Carter Breston referred to as the CC moment. The first photograph in history by the Joseph Nesipor Nepsi. Viewed from the window of Lee Grass Circa in 1826. Interestingly, the first permanent photograph ever taken was an ad by an artist. The inventor Joseph Nips, 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 his uh, fascination with the printing lead him to set up a camera obscura at his studio in France in 9, 1826. The last is Alberto Cora, 
iconic photo of Che Guevara Guerrero Hiroyoko. 1960. Little did photographer Alberto Cura realize when he talked to promise of Fidel Castro's young as shade as an afterthought that it will become such as iconic image. That's all. Thank you.